There are several ways to accomplish this adjustment correctly, and it can be personalized based on what makes sense to you. For the sake of this video, the instructions in the user guide are shown. To adjust the side guides on document feeder trays, it is best to remove the feeder tray from the feeder by pushing down on the release catch and lifting the document feeder tray straight upwards to unhook it. Then pull it out from the feeder. Locate the knob on the underneath side of the tray. Loosen the knob about a half a turn, then grab the side guides and push them apart as far as possible. Turn the tray back over, then put a small stack of documents between the side guides, then push the side guides gently back to the edge of the documents. The space between the side guides and the documents should be such that the documents have just enough play to move freely. Once that is done, remove the stack of documents, retighten the knob, and reinsert the tray in the feeder position. Once the tray is adjusted for the width of media that is to be loaded, open the left hand side guide by turning it downwards. The feed rollers will automatically be lifted out of the way so the documents can be fully inserted between the side guides, triggering the smart tray sensor flag. Return the left side guide to its upward position. The two paper pullers should drop on top of the stack of documents. If the documents are properly inserted, you should see the documents show in the display when a job is set up due to the presence of the smart tray sensors.